don't quote me on this. Please do not quote me on this, but I think I have finally found the problem. So very long story short, lights have a thing called color temperature. My studio lights, 5,700. My actual lights, were 2,700, 3,000 difference. If I lower the white balance really low, I become pink as fuck. Too high, orange as fuck. So I got these lights replaced, they're now 4,000. So my white balance is now at 4,500 as like a middle ground. So I might have a little bit of pink left in it, maybe a tiny, teeny little bit, but at the current moment, it looks a million times better. So that's where we're at the current moment. Anyway, today's PO Box opening as well. Enough about that kind of shit. We got a lot of packages and letters today and a very special Halo loot crate because, you know, there's only uh, one every two months. So excitement, very much excitement. So let's get into it. Letter number one. So this first letter comes from someone named Dick or Richard. Depends on which one you want to call him. And to answer your questions in the letter, I am doing quite well. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing pretty solid. Things are doing well. I did move into the new house totally and I do currently live alone though I am probably gonna get some roommates very soon in the next couple of months uh, a guy and his girlfriend and another buddy of mine so three roommates total but of course I'll have the office myself so it won't really affect any kind of a actual style of you know making videos but overall things are very good Richard thank you so much for the letter and I wish you the best package number one god I hate these packages they're so dusty if you open the wrong so this comes from someone named Robert has a very nice letter here is apparently going to Penn State or will be going to Penn State University for a degree in aerospace engineering I can't even make a it's not rocket science joke because it fucking is it really is. My uh, my grandfather on my dad's side actually studied the same thing, not in uh, Penn State. I think somewhere more in the Louisiana area, if I do recall correctly. Maybe it was Southern California. I can't quite remember, but regardless, it's, it's a fucking crazy field. So the fact that you're going to become a rocket scientist is kick-ass, dude. But uh, thank you so much for the letter. I'm glad you got introduced to League and everything like that. And you sent me a couple cool stuff because you said you live about a mile from the Flight 93 Memorial. And you said it's Shanksville, if I recall. And I remember, I remember watching a couple of the original, like, Flight 93 movies and stuff. Most of them are pretty dark and depressing because it's a pretty dark and depressing time. But it is pretty cool. You have a couple of things here. Like, you have a little pamphlet from the Flight 93 actual memorial itself. And then there's a bunch of postcards from it, too. There's uh, this one right here. And then, right here. I've never actually seen the memorial itself. It's like a giant, like, almost looks like a wall or... A border or something like that that kind of encompasses the area where I landed I suppose it's some pretty cool postcards and also there are two more things in here as well this looks like a mag yep yeah, it's like a fridge magnet actually I don't have any fridge magnets so this will actually go to use like immediately and finally there's this little guy which is a collectible coin from the flight 93 memorial as well oh, okay open it up get, get out get out here you get out here yeah. a common field one day a field of honor forever that's sick that's very cool. Thank you so much, Robert. Letter number two. Ooh, this letter is thick. So this letter comes from Lizzie, who specifically the second paragraph of this entire letter actually made me laugh pretty hard. It says, start playing Sona mid, Quintop, and seeing that Vibe's favorite champion makes me very happy. I have a thing for girls that can beat me up. I feel ya. Also mentions that my forehead is blinding her, but that that's pretty fair. I understand that. Though she's actually studying to become a video game designer, and she also wrote a character ability, like a like a whole new character with abilities and everything like that, for a new champion in League. So I'm actually gonna look at this. Name is Glitch from Noxus, mage slash marksman, AD carry or mid laner, high burst champion with utility. We already have one of those, and their name is Echo. He was a bit of a problem. You know, I was kind of hoping that you would have her abilities in here as well, but not quite yet. I guess you just have the lore in. The lore is not too bad, actually. I could see you going pretty far with this lore. I would suggest a little bit fewer cameos or a little bit less involvement with other major characters, specifically because a lot of times, like, it's cool to have a little other character kind of hop in there for a quick second and kind of hop out, you know, like in Evelyn's lore, they mentioned the gray lady being Camille. But when it's like specifically revolving around other characters, it kind of removes the uh, the in importance and interest of that specific character. So I think it's a little bit more like better to put a little bit more lore into her specifically. Like like Jinx and Vi is a good one because Jinx has her lore and she fights Vi. But pretty much just like that's like a side thing, you know, like her rivalry with Vi is like another section of her lore, not so much the lore, you know. So besides that, I think you can get, go pretty far with this. I really think you could go pretty dang far with this kind of lore. So good job and thank you for the letter. Ridiculously skinny package number two. Ha! <laughs> 
So I heard you like Mercy. Here's a Mercy as shiny as your forehead. That's an awfully empty background you have there. Oh, I must have said it before I put all the shit on my background within the last few days. Oh, that, that feels bad. Mochimaka cosplay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I do like me some Mercy, and which Mercy is a pretty goddamn awesome skim. That's damn good job. Letter 3. This person is fucking cheeky. Hapster671. Your letter is just full of memes and cheekiness. And I, like, as a million PPSs. It's like, PS, sorry for grammar, spelling, rank, etc. PPS should be called the brick wall, not house. PPPPS, ha ha. You asked me for some advice on, a, I believe it's a Mercy cosplay is what you wrote here, correct? Mercy cosplay? I can't help you with a Mercy cosplay. I can't help you with that. <laughs> think I can help you with a Mercy cosplay? What do you think? What do you think I, what do you think I look, look like? Do I look like a Mercy player? Too? Oh, a Mercy player, yes. I, Mercy's a support I like to main the most. That and Anna. But do I look like a Mercy person who can dress up as Mercy? I mean, maybe for a special video if I'm paid enough. But, you know, I can't really help you with a Mercy cosplay. But you could ask Mochiwaka cosplay. She just sent a Witch Mercy. The timing. The timing. It's fate. Just say it. Thank you for the letter. Package 3. By the way, I just recently started doing that whole like package 3, package 2, like letter 1 thing. Is it better? Is it like a better addition? I thought like, hey, maybe I can add a little bit of structure to the videos that way instead of just like a big old clusterfuck. Especially for people like skimming through the video because obviously like skimming through the video, I, I don't, I don't want you to do that. Like watch the whole thing, you know, because my YouTube algorithm. But, you know, I mean, maybe it kind of helps with a little bit of structure for the video, make it a little bit more digestible to watch in case you know, there are certain specific things you may just be eh about. You know, these are some of the letters that I actually really enjoy receiving because it, it really shows like, or maybe it's, it's just a little bit of an ego boost for myself, but this, this comes from someone, I believe the name is Lazma or Lashma or however it's said, a Georgian person, not Georgia, America, but Georgia, the country, who actually is now currently uh, staying in France as refugee and all that, all that jazz, all that not very enjoyable jazz, which is just... I don't know. It's 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 quite the situation. It very much is. And I, I I don't. I can't even begin to say how if I understand it because I, I fucking don't. I live in Southern California. Let's be real here. But it kind of warms my heart a little bit to know that I have fans that even with this kind of issue and problem and everything going on, everything crazy, they still took the time to send a letter, which is pretty fucking heartwarming. I gotta be honest. That that feels really good. So they said they got into League and, and after watching a few of my videos stuff, or maybe they got into League already and then they found my videos that way. But got into a bunch of other games like Rainbow Six and Bloodborne and Overwatch and soon for honor if possible. And writing letter just very very nice like genuine letter talking about games and gaming and being a gamer and and being as he calls himself my favorite polar bear. It's pretty nice. Of course, he recommends to me Code Geass because everyone in the entire world has recommended to me Code Geass ever since I watched Death Note. So there's that as well. There's always an anime recommendation. But he also sent me this teeny little car along with an address to a Georgian restaurant in Southern California. This little car is pretty fucking cute. This is a little French car, you said? A little toy French car because now you live in France after Georgia and everything. But also the place you uh, like gave me the address to is actually up in Glendale. Glendale's like an hour and 45 minute drive, but I am up there occasionally. Uh, if I'm ever in the LA area, I can move up to there pretty easily. So there's of course that. But yeah, thank you very much for the letter. I appreciate that. Best of luck to you. Letter four. Hey, Ricky, my name is Lucas. Lucas? Lucas? A lot of rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seed, apparently. First subbed when you watched So You Want to Main Alawi and immediately thought that voice does not match that face. Some have said the same. Some have said the same. A lot of people thought I was black originally. And they were quite surprised when I wasn't. I I don't know. I have two questions. Do you have any tattoos? Yes, a couple on my right calf. Second, who honestly deserves the next project skin? Vi. How can it not be Vi? Jin got Blood Moon. Cool with that. It's fucking Vi. She has two giant hex tech fists. Like, the amount of cool things you can do with Project Vi is, is out of the fucking park. Project Jin will be the next one because he has a gun. But like, like Lu the other person with a gun, Lucian already has one, maybe Graves? Gro Ooh, Project Graves, that could be kind of cool. Aha! He said he also fucked up on the Resident Evil 7. Haha, <laughs> Lucas, I'm calling you out, Lucas. You also can't read Analog Clock. The meme is gone. The meme is dead, it's not just me. Just kidding, the meme never dies. Thanks, Lucas. Package 4. 
I think. So this is a very cute letter from a couple in Toronto, Canada. Heather and her boyfriend, John. And they specifically talk about how they found the channel, how they see all the kind of stuff that I upload on the channel, how they eventually got into the Resident Evil 7 playthrough, and they hate scary shit, and I hate scary shit, so it's like the perfect combination of both of us being scared of our mind, and then watching the whole Bloodborne playthrough, and just that happens. Yeah, yeah, Bloodborne happened. But they also sent me this cute fucking scarf. Apparently, Heather knitted, 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 knit, knitted. You know what, you know what I'm trying to say. A scarf for me. And, you know, it's, it's actually pretty damn cool. You know, it's the fact that, well, one, it's got a little curl on the side. Uh, is that like, a, it's a normal thing, right? It's like kind of curled on the different kind of sides like there. And he specifically said, use it to hide my face in scary games or whenever I'm cold. But she specifically started with the hide my face in scary games thing. So fuck you. But thank you. It, it's just, it's just a cute ass scarf. I can't believe you knit this whole thing. Like, doesn't this take like, fuck, days or weeks or like, it's so many stitch. I don't. I don't know how people do this stuff. I don't know how people handmade this stuff back in the day. I would lose my mind. Oh, this looks so cute. Thank you so much. I forgot what letter this is, so I'm gonna start adding weird shit on the bottom. <laughs> Re reading through this letter. As I tried to find which champions to man, I came across your silly one of main videos immediately drawn towards Diana. After watching this video, I successfully went to Bronze 1 to Bronze 5. Thanks, you fuck. Thank you for all the great content you create. I hope you find some way to get the fucking glare off your forehead. Jesus, I needed to buy glasses. With all the love I can muster with my dark-hearted soul, the happy black cloud. This was a pretty funny letter gotta be honest but to answer your quick question near the bottom of the letter what you say is i am quite adept at knitting and crocheting oh, crocheting right yeah i was wondering which colors or color combinations do you like i mean there is the brick york Eight color combination which is gold black and pink i do love that color combination quite a bit uh, any kind of like pink and black or red and black is also pretty great but but gold black and pink are a pretty pretty sick color combination in my opinion i very much like it and there's no pokemon i absolutely love i never really played a whole lot of pokemon personally so it wasn't really math thing but, I mean, it's not Pokemon, but I like Kirby. Kirby's cool. He's pink. I don't know. When I thought of Pokemon, I thought of Pikachu, then I thought of Smash, then I thought of Kirby. So, yeah. Thanks for the letter. I forget what package this is. This is a really quick part of the letter, so let's go ahead and read it. It says, Hi, I really enjoy your Silly One of Main series, and I find them very entertaining. You mentioned like Chance, which is Vi and Camille, so I thought you might enjoy this artwork. Just a hobby, but it's a piece called Playground Piltover. Hope you like and keep up the good work, Frank. Well, Frank, fortunately, your, um, your little frame kind of got a little bit fucked up in transit. Uh, that's not much you really could do about it. The top part got kind of snapped, so I'm kind of holding it together the best I can, but it's pretty cool. I gotta be honest, you got Camille on the side there, you got Kayla on the top, Vi, Jinx, the whole, the whole gang's all here. The gang's all here. Playground Piltover. New little thing. Keep it up. I kind of like pencil art, stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even realize the hook shots that, uh, that Camille, nice. Oh, there's all these rockets everywhere. It's, I, I, I didn't even notice all that stuff. There's a lot of like little mini details here. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, Frank. This letter. This letter is also really quick, so I'll just read it. It says, Hey, Bricky, believe it or not, it was my boyfriend that found your channel from Silly One of Main Poppy video. And I pretty much watched all of your low videos, been waiting on a Tristana video, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get a no. Yeah. It's about right. I'll give, I'll give you a slight maybe. A probably not. Any advice for new players? I'm currently doing AD Curie. Oh, well, that's your first fucking problem. I mean, unless you're playing Misfortune, Jin, or any of the lethality characters, there's your first fucking problem. But I want to try playing top. Looking forward to the next video. Best switches. Uh-oh. This thing I kind of ripped, so I can't see the name very well. I think it starts with a J, maybe? I, I got a little bit ripped, so I can't I can't actually see your specific name. Sorry about that. I mean, trying top lane is, is always fun. You know, I just go with, if you're an AD carry player, choose someone that's, like, kind of squishy, but high mobility and does a lot of damage. Maybe, like, early game Fiora or something. Maybe, hell, fucking Yasuo does the same thing, but don't do Yasuo. Do some kind of champion that's, like, has a lot of damage, or maybe even a range one. Play Quinn top. That's not terrible. It, well, it's terrible for the enemy player. Thank you for the letter. Tristana is a, a probably not, but maybe some point. We'll see. We'll, we'll, when she's not so terrible, yeah. Little Letor. Oh, God. Dear Bricky, sorry if my writing is a little hard to read. I'm writing out of concern for your health after the fear the old brick P.O. box opening. You got Rem right, but her pink-haired twin is Ram. I don't want the fanboys devouring your soul. You know, it's kind of funny. I was, uh... 
if you saw the video yesterday, I like burned a picture of Rem, you know, to, to the whole Trin Immortal Bricky type thing. And I was talking to Trin Immortal on Twitter, just, you know, DMs and I was saying like, hey man, you can't judge me. I know it's like everyone's talking about like Rem and Amelia, Rem and Amelia. So I automatically imagined they would be the twins. I didn't know there was a thing called a Ram. It's like, she's not a Ram. She doesn't even have any fucking horns. I didn't actually even realize that they actually do have horns in the show. Or at least he told me they do have horns in the show. I just took a guess because Ram, you know, just, you know, fucking it's a Ram. So then he like went on this giant rant of like, you insensitive fuck. Do you realize what you've just said? <laughs> It was, it was pretty funny. It was a good meme. It was a solid meme. I found you because YouTube algorithms noticed me watching Drifter's League streams and suggested your Sailor Man Zero video. Oh, really? You watch Drifter stuff? I've actually been watching Drifter for like three years now. I watched his uh, in-depth stuff back during Ghosts. And I actually have been binge watching his uh, Modern Warfare Remastered in-depth stuff. Like I said before, I actually play a lot of Call of Duty. I'm very much a big Call of Duty fan. I just don't make a lot of content about it because there's, there's enough of that. But... Yeah, he seems like a good guy. I like his I like his in-depth videos. They're pretty fun. Don't have a PC right now, but I'll get back on the league first when I do. I'm planning on doing a Twitch slash YouTube when I get a setup. I'd like to ask which I should focus on first. Twitch or YouTube? Um Uh Twitch, you have a higher chance of, of getting noticed and, and, and maybe perhaps like doing better when you're smaller. Especially if you play niche games. Um YouTube is way harder, but you can bounce YouTube off of Twitch a lot easier than you can bounce Twitch off of YouTube. They both they both have their kind of thing. They're both difficult as fuck in the beginning. But I did YouTube, then moved to Twitch. But of course, it took me a lot of time for that. So, you know, you do you. Sincerely, Astavin? Astavin? Yeah, we'll go with that. Thank you. One more letter, and then one more package, and then dilute. Wow, these are really quick letters. Greetings, Bricky. I'm a Scion and Anna one-trick pony, and currently stuck in gold four because I suck. However, I do plan on reaching plat this season. Really enjoyed your Dark Souls, Alien Isolation, and Red is Evil 7 playthrough, and like to see you die more often in future playthroughs. Hey, the Ring City DLC is coming out soon. Bloodborne was awesome as well, though we still haven't seen you fight the Moon Presence. We don't really need to, though. I mean, like... I, I've seen it. I get. I see the new ending. I get the whole thing. But Moon Presence isn't that special of a boss. I mean, special lore-wise, but as a character, it's like as a boss fight, it's it's not that crazy. Just gotta watch out for this crazy one-shot move. Also, collab with Trinimortal, please. It's happening. Your fellow feeder, Dominic. P.S. Fuck clocks. Am I right? And he uh, took this little picture of a of a Kappa clock. You know, cheeky. By the way, I love your beard, full homo. Nice. T. T? Peppermint, a native of the Mediterranean, revered for its cool, crisp aroma. Adagio tea, Adagio teas? At fandom blends. Paper tea filters? A honey stick? And a bunch of tea postcards and stuff. Oh god, it's a falling over! And more tea! Berry tart tea? Zesty Cintron tea? Oh, it smells so good. Man, I fucking love tea, but it's like, you know, tea, like, what, what, what do they call them? Like, like little, little tea fucking, whatever these things are called. What do you call them? What would you call them? I don't know what you would call them. What would you call them? Just, just, just ground up tea leaves, I guess. That's a lot of tea. I could make, I, I think I'm going to make myself some tea. Thank you, mystery tea person. All right. That's it for the P.O. Box opening on the letters and all the packages have been done. Got myself some mystery tea, which is quite nice. But today, of course, you know what it is. You know what we always do. It's Loot Crate unboxing. And today is very, very special because it is the Halo Legendary Crate. Now, I'm sure some of you know I am a massive Halo fanboy. Love the games. I mean, love the, the new games, not as much, but still enjoy them. This is a very special loot box that only comes around once every two months. Got a lot of higher quality items in there, all licensed Halo stuff, and pretty damn good nerd gear, I gotta be honest. So, as you know, I'm sponsored by Loot Crate. I'm gonna unbox this little baby right here, and we're gonna get started. All right, so it should be pretty obvious at this point, this is a Halo Wars 2 based crate because Halo Wars 2 just came out. Starters, the box art is just it's just kick ass so we're gonna start with some cool ass shit which is a mouse pad a whole new mouse pad featuring atriox from the banished in halo wars 2 there he is right there he's holding a spartan skull or not skull but whoa 
Well, he could be holding a Spartan skull, but, you know, Spartan helmet, which he does in the trailers as in the main game, where he, like, you know, holds and just kind of fuck crushes the goddamn thing because he's a, a scary tactical brute. When the brute is smart, things are fucking bad. So here's the mouse pad for Atriox. This is kind of a funny tie-in. This guy right here is a Spartan helmet, but it's a Spartan helmet stress ball. So obviously, you know, it's a little stress ball Spartan helmet, which is hilarious because, like I mentioned recently, Atriox holding the helmet and crushed it in his hand and like broke the visor and stuff. It kind of, it really kind of goes together, right? You know, fucking brute crushing a Spartan's helmet, little Spartan helmet stress ball guy here. So, <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty cheeky. It's pretty cheeky. Spartan helmet stress ball. Now this guy right here is a figure. It's an Atriox figure, that is. Go ahead and see if you can focus in on that one camera. There you go. Now, Atriox figure here. This actually goes along with all the other Halo Loot Crate stuff. They, all the like the bottom bases actually attach to one another. And of course Atriox here with this crazy ass red gravity hammer. Going ahead and smacking that ground and you know, causing a lot of fucking problems for everyone nearby. I think it's kind of cool. I also floats in midair with this hammer. But this goes along with a, uh, sp uh, sp not Spartan, but ODST Buck. A Red vs. Blue one. And a couple others. Uh, I think there's a uh, Spartan jumping over a grunt as well. You may have seen it actually in the um, house tour kind of video. It's down in the back here. I can go ahead and add this to the collection. Atriox with his gravity hammer. This is fun right here. Crew member logbook. Basically, oh fucking shit. Basically just a blank journal, you know. Nothing too crazy. Has the cool UNSC Spirit of Fire logo and everything on the top of it, or the front of it, that is. Nothing too, you know, complex about it, but a decent, pretty long page journal here. It has a good build to it. So, crew logbook. Alright, this is this is pretty funny. So, gravity hammers, you know, kind of hammers. You kind of swing them like baseball bats just a little bit, just a tad little bit. So, you have... The Banished. A long sleeve, like, baseball style shirt the banished team with atriox number one number one best best surgeon number one atriox number one from the banished baseball team shirt long sleeve of course this time around i gotta be honest this crate's got a little bit more cheekiness than, than the normal it's, it's kind of got i bet all the people loot crate just giggling to themselves like <laughs> atriox <laughs> the banished baseball team Boom, the Banished baseball team. Now, of course, you also have the pin, Atriox and the Banished pin here, or a little emblem right there. Pretty damn self-explanatory. Nothing too crazy to see there, but as like every loot crate does come with a pin, and that is this loot crate's pin. And finally, kind of my favorite thing, kind of not, the shirt's pretty great, but that always kind of gets me fanboying, is this guy here. It is a, uh, a classified documents little folder. There was one in pretty much every single Halo legendary loot crate that there is. And they always come with these really awesome kind of official documents, you know, of whatever you need for the mission. So this one specifically is Fire's Wake. It shows like all different time periods, or not times, but like timestamps for data logs. It says like, you know, Office of Naval Intelligence after action report. And then as it continues going, you know, all different logs, you know, and, and like, what's this? Like 1642 Scans Tech Form Battle Group. 1650 Hostile Fighters en route, Seraph Formation. Then you also have Isabel and the AI, with like little status logs for the ship. Then you have the banished infantry and characters and all. And then you have your infantry and characters and vehicles and all. And finally, of course, let's never forget this beautiful thing. Full assessment of the Spirit of Fire. All different kinds of components and stuff. Very nerd, very hardcore fanboy kind of stuff here. But I love it. It looks genuine. It's got a lot of high production in it. And I think it looks really fucking cool. So that was the Halo Legendary crate for this month of the last two months. Like I said, it only comes once every two months because all the stuff in there is a lot higher quality and really really fucking cool and of course license never forget that thing so if you liked anything you saw in that loot crate you can use lootcrate.com slash bricky and promo code bricky for 10 percent off your purchase every dollar you save goes to getting baby powder for my forehead so you don't have to wear glasses while watching my videos anymore and of course this is the end of the p.o box opening if you sent anything thank you so much i very much appreciate it and if you want to send anything it's totally optional put the address on the screen and description of all the videos as well and i wish you all a very good rest of the week Best of luck in your games, promote somewhere in some game, I don't care which, but get promoted up that ladder, and also, Deus Volt. Bye-bye.